An Alberta man has been charged with kidnapping, attempted murder, and aggravated sexual assault in connection to an attack on a six-year-old. She was beaten so badly over the weekend, she has yet to regain consciousness. The CBC's Laura Osmond spoke with the girl's family today on the Paul Band First Nation. It was here, in the snow, in broad daylight, that a six-year-old girl was found beaten, naked, and nearly dead. Now police have charged 21-year-old James Paul, a man with two prior charges of assault. It was not an unknown predatorial attack. She, uh, he was known to her. Family members said Paul is a distant relative who was with the girl while she played outside with other children on Saturday. The adults lost track of her. According to the family, it was her playmates who found the six-year-old several hours later. She was beaten beyond recognition. The girl's parents are by her bedside in an Edmonton hospital where she's still unconscious. She's suffering from head trauma and hypothermia. This is a horrific uh, incident. It's impacted the community. It's impacted the police officers. While police continue their investigation, family here on the First Nations say they're relying on prayer to get themselves through the next few difficult days of waiting for the little girl to regain consciousness. Hi the girl's great uncle, who calls himself her grandfather, says the family is coming together for support. But he says it's hard to deal with what happened here. It, 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 it impact was so sudden and it devastated like a... <laughs> he says all the family can do is think about the girl and comfort the children who found her. We can't fault her, we can't feel sad in the heart or in the mind because if we do that, She's going to feel it, so we got to stand strong. He says the attack touched everyone on the First Nation. He's urging them to cling to their loved ones instead of blame and sadness. What happened with uh, my, young, my young grandchild there, it's, a, it's an awakening. It's a community awakening for us. Police have not explained how a little girl out for a day of tobogganing became a victim of such a violent crime, nor will they. Those details will only be revealed in court in the new year. Laura Osmond, CBC News, on the Paul Band, First Nation.